Welcome to God's Witness News. I'm Rob McMillions. And I'm Denise Bucks, welcoming you to the Sunday Morning News Brief. Denise, this church is in week five of a brand new series called Elements of Faith. Now, last week we had a discussion on the importance and purpose of worship, but this week, Canyon Hills Presbyterian Church has a special presentation on the mission in Rwanda. Yes, Rob, that's right. Friday night, CHPC hosted a special funding raising event called the FET. That's party in Africa. Right. To support the Umbambwe Community Center in Rwanda. Mission and giving are very important here at Canyon Hills Presbyterian Church, and I had the opportunity to talk with several people here at the church about these two areas. This is Rob McMillions reporting live from Canyon Hills Presbyterian Church for God's Witness News. There's a lot going on here. God is at work here, and we're exploring how. With more to talk about this, I'm joined by Malia Lewis, mission elder here at Canyon Hills Presbyterian Church. Tell me, what's going on here? Well, Rob, through uh, Mission Committee, what we've decided through need and recommendations are we um, were able to support about four local ministries. So the local ministries that we support are Northeast of the Well, which is a recovery ministry. We have a shower ministry where we help people off the streets get showers. Uh, we have um, Mercy House where we help people get food and a good bed to sleep in or a warm bed to sleep in. And then we also have Giving Children Hope which is a ministry that provides food for our local children in need. Uh, we've got our ongoing Mexico house building project, and then we've also got two global ministries that we are a part of. And our goal is to bring the, the mercy, the grace, and the love of God to everybody that we talk to. You mentioned global. Tell me more about that. What is that all about? Um, okay, so we've got two different global projects. One is that individuals in our church write and support, so they write letters and support to children over at the Tumaini Children's Home in Kenya. And so those children are housed there, they're clothed, they're given support and love, they hear the word of God, and they also receive uh, support with school and vocational training. It's a really great program. In addition, we have a program in Rwanda that we're just getting started with, and it's absolutely fantastic. They minister and provide um, training and vocational skills and education for the victims of the Rwand Rwandan genocide um, from 1994. So it's a great program. Thank you, Malia. And one more very important question. How does the generous giving here at Canyon Hills Presbyterian Church help so much? Well, it really is through the generous and ongoing audacious giving of the time, talents, and treasures of the members of Canyon Hills Presbyterian Church that keep us going and keep us giving. And I know the people that receive this are very, very grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Also with me today, Matt and Kate Montcrief and their two sons, Clifford and Merritt. You, like me, new members here at Canyon Hills Presbyterian Church. What attracted you? What brought you to this church? Um, what really brought us to this church here, I would say would be the pastoral staff, first of all. You know, it was very welcoming as well as everyone else in the church here. Uh, every time we came, it just felt genuine. There was a genuine connection here. People actually cared. It wasn't, you know, a recruitment tactic, I guess I would say, but they took an interest in our family and what we were doing, and it just felt like home, as cheesy as that sounds. Excellent. You're absolutely right. And, and Matt, I understand you're trained in teaching and preaching the Word of God. What's your opinion on generous giving and why it's so important? Yeah, it's my belief that when the, when the apostles founded the church, they created an institution that uh, where the members uh, received generously from the church and the church received generously from the members. Uh, and in that way, the, the, the church, you know, survives in that kind of way. And so, you know, we have a pastoral staff uh, here that gives so generously to our community. We have ministries that serve the underserved. Um, and I, I think that we take that as a challenge to give just as generously back to this church, um, not just of our money, but also of our time, um, our attention, our, our you know, and, and our money as well. Thank you so much, Matt and Kate and Clifford and Merritt. Thank you very much. This is Rob McMillions reporting live from Canyon Hills Presbyterian Church, reminding you to give it all for God every day. And Rob, Malia mentioned in her interview, the Mexico mission trip. We have, CHPC is very committed to it. And coming up in the next few weeks, they're going to have an adult trip to Mexico mission to 
build houses for those people that are so deserving. Yeah, excellent, excellent stuff. Thanks, Denise. Now let's turn to sports for an update on CHPC's youth. Good morning, everyone. This is Cole Cash for God Witness News. Today with me, I have a special guest, Kathy Consalvi, Director of Children Ministry for CHPC. Welcome, Kathy. I'm so happy to be here this morning. Kathy, how do you um, select what programs and events you will offer for the young children at CHPC? Well, I do it with a lot of investigating on the internet. I go through different programs. I see what other churches are doing. And I read each program and decide if it's engaging for our children, that they're going to learn and also have fun. they got to have fun. And then are any of these uh, events geared towards uh, a reach out with the community? Absolutely. We have our big Halloween carnival. We have our Christmas uh, cookie um, bake off. We have Easter egg hunt, but we also encourage you, a lot of our members to invite them to Sunday school and to parents night out. So we're always encouraging them to invite the community to come in and get to know us at CHPC. And then how are you able to finance for all these great events? Well, that's with our community at our church. And we look to them to graciously donate each and every year to help us um, with the monies that we need. It sounds like a good idea. This is Cole Cash reminding you to give it all to God every day. Now back to you, Rob. Yeah, Denise, this church is really connected to all aspects of faith development, so very fascinating there. Now, let's hear from Aiden Greenbacks with the weather report. Thanks, Rob. Well, just as the CHPC Doppler weather scan predicted, our giving weather is improving. Our sprinkles are t turning into showers. Amazing that a CHPC Doppler is so exact. You have to love the audacious generosity of CHPC and the faithfulness of God that created this weather. This is Aiden Greenback reporting to you from CHPC. Back to you, Rob. Thanks, Aiden. And that concludes our report for this Sunday. I'm Rob McMillions. And I'm Denise Bucks. And remember, join us next week for the next edition of the Sunday Morning News Brief here on God's Witness News. This is God's Witness News, giving it all for God every day.